like you to do is addition. And let's do our first problem is going to be the new groups above. Everyone, new groups above. Who I'm going to put the problem here. You're going to write it on your math board today, boys and girls. And then I'm going to call someone up to do the problem. Then you can check with them. So our first one is new groups above. Here's your problem, boys and girls. 249 plus 386 on new groups above. And I would like Emma to come up and show us the steps. And if you could talk through the steps of the new groups above method that you are teaching us today, that would really help us. Well, first we take nine plus six. Check your math board. That was a new groups below <laughs> method. Carrying your numbers below. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Show all totals is our next addition method for math. <laughs> Show all totals. That's totally new for everyone. Showing all totals. Caitlin, would you like to give our example? Remember how to show all totals. Write your problem down, and Caitlin's going to talk us through it. First, you put down the hundreds. Thank <laughs> you. 
And then what are you going to do, Caitlin? And add all of these up. Add all of those up. Check your math boards. Excellent, Caitlin. Does anybody want to do a proof drawing for that? We'll leave that up there if you want to show how to do a proof drawing. All right, Sydney, head up. Make your proof drawing right beside it, boys and girls. This is addition proof drawing. So first for 200, you make two boxes, which are 100 boxes. And then you make three 10 sticks and one, one circle, if you want circles. Then you make 300 box. Was the correct answer? Yes. Mm -hmm. That was our proof drawing for addition. Wonderful. Clear your boards. Let's teach our mom and dad all of our new subtraction methods. So, what was the name of our first subtraction method, boys and girls, that we discussed? The first one we talked about. We have three of the methods. What was the name of the first one? Charles. Uh, proof drawing. No. Common one? No. Finding the above. That's what you learned in second grade. Yes, remember? And that was common U.S. method. Should we do a common U.S. method yes. first? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's start with common <coughs> U.S. method. Here's your problem. This is kind of the old method of subtraction in the United States. This is how your mom and dad were taught. Okay, who would like to show us how do you do the common U.S. method? All right, Zachary. Nice and loud and clear so we can get it on tape. Okay, um, Okay, ball is three acid two. Oh, say it nice and loud what you're doing. Why are you doing that? Because uh, it's B, 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 the big and bottom number. The A is bigger than four, so you have to cross that off, put that two up there. Now that's a 14. Now you have to minus that. And six. Then, then you need to cross that off, so that's a zero now. And then you put one there, so that's 12. Comma is five and seven. Seventy-six. What's your answer? Seventy-six. Everyone check your board. Make yeah. sure you have the common US method. Don't erase. Don't erase. Underneath that one, let's take the same problem now and let's do expanded subtraction method. David. Nice and clear voice to explain how to expand. Same problem. Let's expand it out. Another option for subtraction. First you do 100. And then plus 30. Plus 4. And you go down and you do 50 plus 8 minus equals, and you come over here. Now we're going to do our subtraction. 
subtracting, right? Mm -hmm. okay. 14. 100 box, so it's 120 subtract 50, right? Then that equals 70. And then the other that equals 76. Thank you. So when you add those two, the tens and the ones together, what do you come up with? 76. Is that the same as above? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct. Now let's do a proof drawing for subtraction. Sierra, you might have to erase some so you have some room to prove this answer. We're going to prove that we did the right thing today. Boys and girls. Excellent job. Give yourself a big hand. 